Here in Richmond, it was just over two years ago that the Jefferson Davis statue was pulled down as protests continued over the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Now, for the first time since that night, the statue of the former Confederate president has a new temporary home. CBS 6's Brendan King has details on a new exhibit in an appropriate location. Brendan? Yeah, good afternoon, Cheryl. Listen to this. A survey of Richmonders, recent survey, showed 80% want to see these, these Confederate statues that were taken down over the years. They want to see them inside a museum just like the Valentine I'm standing in right now. So look behind me here. This is it. This is the Jefferson statue. It has sat covered away from the public at the city's wastewater treatment plant, well, until now. In many ways, this is bringing the statue back to the place where it was created. A homecoming of sorts for a controversial statue. We know that Jefferson Davis came to the small building to be measured uh, so that we have detailed drawings and measurements of his face. After more than two years in storage, Wednesday morning, the Valentine Museum unveiled their newest exhibit, the Jefferson Davis statue. <laughs> The statue honoring the former president of the Confederacy was toppled and pulled down by protesters on June 10, 2020, during nightly social justice protests. We want to make sure that our visitors, when they come down, they're seeing a 2020 object. Curators chose to display Davis like the public saw him two years ago, laying on his back, his bronze face bashed in from the fall, covered in pink latex paint, fragments of a toilet paper noose still stuck around his neck damage intentionally preserved on the statue. We have other objects in our collection that address, um, you know, the history of racial oppression and Jim Crow laws here. We don't have as many powerful objects that really tell the real story of what happened here uh, in the summer of 2020. And on loan from Richmond's Black History Museum for six months, the Valentine wants visitors to share their feelings, emotions, and opinions about the exhibit and the statue to help determine how best to share the rest of Richmond's history. We'll also be sharing that information with the city of Richmond as they figure out what happens next, not only on Monument Avenue, but also in Shaco Bottom. Yeah, check this out. Look on your screen. The Valentine posted placards with context around the statue. It includes the history of why the statue was erected on Monument Avenue back in 1907 and, of course, why it was taken down. So if you'd like to see this statue for yourself in person, keep in mind the Valentine Museum is closed on Mondays, but surprisingly, Wednesdays, free admission. So you have really no excuse but not to show up. Working for you in Richmond, Brendan King, CBS 6 News.